This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the Ford Focus Electric. Is HTC getting back into the tablet biz? What are Intel and Motorola up to? And what the heck is AirPlay Direct? It almost rhymed. It's Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup. Run them up! Woohoo! We're shaking bacon and welcome to another edition of the fastest tech show in the West, Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup. This episode of the Roundup is brought to you by our friends at the Ford, makers of the Ford Focus Electric. There's so much news that came out of IFA in Berlin, Germany this week. Todd Hasselton's been in Germany all week long covering all the crazy Samsung stuff. I think an executive actually used the word phablet on stage, which is... A little scary. And you can catch up on all of it on technobuffalo.com and of course on our YouTube channel. HTC might be getting back into the tablet game. You recall way back when HTC made the seven inch flyer tablet. It was an Android based tablet with a pen that I fawned all over at Mobile World Congress for years back, even though nobody else did because the thing didn't really sell. Then they made the Jetstream, which by the time it came out was a horribly overpriced Android tablet that did what all the other Android tablets did, except you had to buy it through AT&T and it was too much money and nobody really bought it. But now it looks like they might be getting back into business. A Twitter account by the handle Evleaks posted a picture of what really looks like an iMac minus the keyboard plus an HTC logo. It appears to be a tablet. It kind of looks like a 1X. Literally, that's all we know. This thing might be a prototype. It might be a render somebody made up. It might be a big joke being played right now on you and me. But let's just call it a rumor, HTC tablet coming, I don't know, sometime looking a little bit like an iMac. Way back when at CES, Intel and Motorola promised us a Medfield-based Android phone. The Dynamic Duo sent out invitations earlier this week to an event to be held on September 18th in London Town, and the invitation had the snazzy headline, we're taking you to the edge. So it could be a device that has a screen that goes all the way to the edge. It could be a device that pushes you to the edge of insanity. Most likely a phone, maybe a tablet, maybe both. Intel has been talking up the power efficiency of the Atom-based system on a chip, and we may get to see it now from Motorola and Intel in London. But for now, the rumor says midfield phone. We'll be back in a minute with AirPlay Direct, whatever that is, if it's even called that after this word from Ford. Let me talk to you for a minute about the Ford Focus Electric. Now, first off, let me say, what I've been seeing lately on the streets up here in Oaktown is the new Ford Focus Electric. And so that's why I'm kind of excited to talk to you about it right now. We've had one, John's had it down in Southern California. He's been playing with it, but I'll tell you what, LA people may be car people, Bay Area people are smug green. No, we're green, we're green, we love the green. And so that's why I've been seeing electric vehicles on the streets around here all the time. The Ford Focus Electric stands out because it's kind of a cool car. It's 100% electric with zero tailpipe emissions and it gets 110 miles per gallon equivalent. Now, depending on your particular driving style, you may get even better efficiency or if you're a lead foot like me, a little worse efficiency than that 110 MPGE uh, city rating. But either way, we're talking about the Focus Electric being the most fuel efficient five person vehicle available in the US right now. And fuel efficiency is but one of the many amazing features of the Ford Focus Electric. Tune in to upcoming episodes of Techno Buffalo like you would anyway to learn a little bit more about what makes the Ford Focus Electric so unique and so freaking awesome. iPhone 5 rumors, Blech. iPad mini rumors, done with those. AirPlay Direct rumors, now you're talking. Reports earlier this week saying that Apple is working on a direct version of its AirPlay system that would stream music from an iOS device to a compatible AirPlay device without having to hook on to your Wi-Fi network. In other words, this technology would still make use of Wi-Fi. It's not Bluetooth, it's, it's a Wi-Fi based technology, but you're not hopping on to the network that your device might be connected to, to you know, share files, get to the internet, that kind of thing. You're just going straight from the music player, your iOS device, to the AirPlay compatible speaker system, whether it's speakers or a dock or a connected receiver or who knows. Now, a couple things about this. As always, it's a rumor, but the rumor is pointing to this technology being unveiled on the rumored 
September 12th event at which Apple is rumored to be launching the new iPhone. It's not going to be called iPhone 5. Stop using that terminology. It's just going to be called iPhone or new iPhone. They're getting rid of the numbers like they did with iPad. Apparently, AirPlay Direct is a working name. Not sure if that's the final name. Not sure exactly how it's going to work, but it's going to go direct from your device to the speakers. No Bluetooth. No word if it's going to support multi-speaker streaming, kind of like Sonos does with their proprietary mesh network. Also, no word if this is going to support video as well or audio only. All will be revealed on September 12th, unless it's not, because this is just rumor, not fact, which is why we don't call it fact follow-up. We call it rumor roundup. My name is Noah. Thanks for watching. Thanks again to Ford for sponsoring. To the folks at Rev3 for having us three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Techno Buffalo on Revision 3. Thanks to you for watching. Until next Friday, remember, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for made up stuff that falls out of the sky. Round them up. Woohoo! I feel like a robot. I feel like the monitor is my robot head. Like I'm an exoskeleton, like uh, a reject from the Iron, early Iron Man drawings, where instead of having an awesome suit of armor, I have a monitor and speakers. So when I put on my suit, I can attack you.